longer I look at this image, the funnier it gets to me, and I don't know why. All this co workers are gone. What on. could it mean? Okay. Stan had I decided to go to the meeting room. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun to You didn't think that. I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Ah. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. All of his co-workers were gone, but Stanley yes! simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Oh, new content? What new does that content? mean? New content? Okay, okay. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's okay. just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh my god, does, am I recording my mic too? <laughs> um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. 
Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay, let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump. No. I'm doing it too fast. That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> that's a is, an extra minute. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market it for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the Memory Zone. 
It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable... And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer stand. And here it is. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it... 
Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, look back. Look back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about... But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They na- The end is never 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 the end is All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, 
you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement. Oh goodness, um, Stanley, this is very awkward. I hate to do this, but before you know, you're just going to ignore my advice? Fine, no fun new content for you then. You're the one who spent money on this game. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's doing... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. We'll be right back. <laughs> you see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Ah! Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big f Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Oh goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, no? You're just going to ignore my advice? Fine. No fun new content for you then. You're the So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. 
<laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Peacefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley did when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm back. You're getting in your head. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted Dude, to stop I'm by so the glad that they chose to read the wiki about like, all the new updates that have come Standing out. Standing now in this incredible room, there's a lot more to Stanley it than I realized. First, but eager to get back to business, the yeah, Stanley the new stuff that they the added, that there's like a there's left. a couple of like, special cards you can get that if you take them to the vehicle workshop inside Stanley the new so building I got, following uh, you can get them you can get them upgraded with a couple like special upgrades only available to those cars. Look, Stanley, I and those are a remote control unit so you can drive your personal vehicle remotely. A missile lock on jammer so that way people can't use holding missiles on, your, on those cars. The fact is and that armor the story plate has been about so that they you. have more protection. Really? Uh, I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero uh, consideration like, for you know, others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you yeah. of this, but I really do want to help you to show it's you something so beautiful. so fun, but man, you're never going to get the money you need in order to have fun with the game uh, legitimately. You are, unless you are committed to wanting to try to mod the money into the sorry, game uh, yourself, which is an online things. game, it's so just, it's difficult. It's those figurines. Um, Otherwise, you have to assume that you're going I to be playing stopped as thinking a about player, them, and you since you nab every last one. Fun things, Wasn't it just the most intrinsically things. fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Um, yes, I know we're supposed to be oh. telling a story, but won't you please Basically, indulge me with one more trip back to the memories of... You've got to keep money in or just have a friend that has a bunch of money. The figurines. Just play with I happen to have a shit ton of money because I cheated it in, so... <laughs> Online. I cheated the money in online, which is not as hard as you think, Here's considering where this is a the very big game. You think that they'd have then good security, no but idea no. How many of them we'd find? So sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. And here was a second Stanlerine. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's location. do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Let's see, what came next? Oh, yes. We anyway, do it. Uh, looking at the wiki, I also found out that my submarine can have a... Being in this room. Like, there are, there are a couple, like, the personal zone. vehicles so uh, that are options uh, uh, in the submarine. This was so, the fifth mini stand, and have... this one was really something special. It was in the way. I already knew about this one. But so you can also fact, get one other this one is vehicles, particularly so special to me. I made in my a summer. video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Good. Because I was also talking, so it probably doesn't have to be. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Did you see that Anders uh, got their head shaved? I did, because I saw the show yesterday. 
And then, Stanley, oh, nice. then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it yeah. was the one that had they, they got a hundred bucks more than the others. So. Worth it. Who can it truly was, uh, say yeah. how it was literally in Mr. Terich's class. This is a bunch of where you a bunch of kid, a bunch of guys were like, yes. hey. That's uh, Anders, if you let me shave your head, unlike any uh, or like, what? How much? To, how much to let us cut your hair? And Anders said a hundred dollars. So they literally in Mr. Terich's class, in Mr. Terich's class, pooled together a bunch of money and in order to pay Anders no to to cut their hair. Caught up so to the present moment, nothing left to do but move so onward into the hair got cut, Goodbye, and they just own. apparently just the guy just decided to just clean to just shave it. Well, um, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Yeah. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. So why the fuck can't I take my okay, yes. The room cars. with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Let's bring it closer to Los Angeles. Yes, I love that video. Oh, I should stream again in case you're interested. Still no memory of the pink room, problem. Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A Good solid room. room. Yeah. These really were a good yeah. countdown. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. There's so much time saving in that. <laughs> this is so bad. I am piloting a full-size Soviet-era submarine right now. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it Because they added those to the, the fastest They added fucking full-size submarines. Why anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. And they cost a lot of money this in is the game. The very first a lot of money I have. In the exhibit so. where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want Harder. More I mean, look, I worked. I worked going. to find that. The way to mod that what in. Before I, I did work for it. In my own way. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a... Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. And then I just gotta read the epilogue. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. That's my I became lazy, it's okay. And I came up with, well, came up with. Like, you know, maybe I'll park my, maybe my I'll park. For me. Maybe, no, what I'll do is I'll probably bring my, my, my yacht in go. close. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines my for yacht. no reason. Why did I uh, and drive those manually now. Holy shit, this yes, submarine is larger it. than my Perhaps superior. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Oh. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give okay. Stanley one more run Nobody of the Nobody else seems to have their submarine. I wonder if there's that room. one that's. I did on enjoy surface, telling the story so very much. I don't think I need okay. to worry about that. I think Here that's we go. The default spot. It's this okay. is the story of a man named Stanley.
kids park just underneath the surface of the water. Nobody will know it's there. Oh, I don't remember if I changed the time or not. Start piloting. It's too near the ground, apparently. I need to get closer to the surface. Okay, and it's now just under the water. I think I should be able to get my car out. Oh, you gotta quit out like seven times. Huh? You gotta quit out so many times. Oh. Are you doing like a run where you get every ending? Yeah, it's just 90%. Uh. They don't have an, an every ending run. Only 12 endings. Okay, I'm just gonna have to surface. There we go. Now it's working. This car is awesome.
Okay, I don't know what button I need to press in order to switch this thing, switch this thing's modes. No? What's up, Jim? What are you playing? Are you playing GTA Online? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Can I hop on? Yeah, you should. Why are you playing? <laughs> <laughs>